Hey guys, Mr. Catlin here with your homework help for lesson eight. A circle's circumference is approximately 76 centimeters. So I set up a little table here with all of the different aspects of a circle. Circumference, diameter, radius, radius squared, area. And uh, I might not have to find all of them, but it's a good way to set up my process for any circle problem. Uh, 76 is my circumference, so that goes here. And I've got to do radius, diameter, and area. So i got to work all the way across this. So we start with uh, how we go from circumference, excuse me, to diameter. Cora, win to the office, please. Cora, win, come downstairs, please. So we're going to divide 76 by pi as we ignore the announcement being made there, uh, 3.14. And that gives us 24.2. We're going to roll with, we're going to round in there as 10th there. So 24.2 is our diameter. Now our radius is half of that, so we got to cut this in two, and that gives us 12.1. Uh, cut everything in two, right? And then to get to the radius, we got to multiply it by itself, right? So we do 12.1 squared. Uh, so let's go back here and do 12.1 multiplied by itself. That gives us 146 and 41 hundredths. So 146 and 41 hundredths. And then to get from the last leg to the area, we have to multiply by pi again, because it takes 3.14 of those. Uh, area is pi times the radius being squared. So that multiplies out to give me 146 times that. And we multiply that answer times pi, and that would give us our answer, which is about, let's go with 460, about 460. Uh, this is centimeters, so 460 centimeters squared. That is our area. All right, so looking at number two, Jada paints a circular table. We have the diameter there, and so that's 37 inches. So it's asking us to go from diameter to area. So we don't have to worry about the circumference. We just got to work the rest of the table out. So let's start by cutting it in half. So 37 cut in two. So 37 divided by two is 18 and a half. So we know that this is 18.5. Next, we have to go to the radius squared. So we got to multiply that number by itself. So we've already got it here. Let's take that answer and square it. And that would be 342 and 25 hundredths. So 342 and 25 hundredths, and then multiply it by pi to get to the area. Square, square the radius, multiply it by pi. So I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to take that answer and multiply it by pi. And I will have my final answer, which is Let's go with 1,075. That rounds pretty close to 1,075. So there we go. 1,075 inches squared is our answer for that one. Moving on to number three, this carousel problem. A lot of people ask questions about this one. It's pretty tough. Okay, uh, we have two people on the carousel, Kieran, and we also have May. Kieran is on one of the inner rings that has a nine-foot... Uh, radius. So Kieran has a nine foot radius. All right. It tells you that uh, here. May is riding on the outer ring, which is eight feet farther from the center uh, than the than the inner. And I wrote the wrong number there. That was supposed to be eight foot farther. And nine plus eight means that she has a radius of seventeen. So May is further out from the center than uh, Kieran is. The first question says, in one rotation of the carousel. How much farther does May travel than Kieran? This is a circumference problem, so we can ignore this part of our table. All right. First of all, if we extend Kieran to make it into a diameter, then her diameter, or his, well, I don't know what Kieran is, uh, is 18. And May's would be 34, right? So they have much different sized circles. To compare the distance that they would travel in a rotation, we would need to make those into circumferences. So we need to do 18 and 34 times pi. So 18 times pi 
is this number, and 34 times pi is this number. So let's go with um, 57 and 107. We're going to round to the nearest whole. So 57 and 107. Now this is the number of feet that each of them travel in one rotation. Okay, how much further does May travel than Kieran? That would be 107 minus 57, which is about uh, 50 feet. So our first answer is 50 feet. Now, in one rotation of the carousel, it takes 12 seconds. All right, so that means that Kieran is going uh, 57 feet per 12 seconds, and May is going 107 feet per 12 seconds. The question is, how much faster is, this is Kieran, and this is May, how much faster is May than Kieran? If you ever notice on a carousel, the inner ones go slower than the outer ones because they got more space to cover. So they're traveling more, time, more uh, distance in less time, so they're going faster. We're trying to figure out how much faster? So we got to divide both of our numbers by 12. So let me go back to my calculator. Uh, 57 divided by 12. And the other one is 107 divided by 12. So, oh, sorry. 107. So there's a zero in there. Divided by 12. This number should be faster, right? So four point, let's go with 4.8 to 8.9. 4.8 to 8.9. So Kieran's going 4.8 and May's going 8.9. These are both feet per second. And so who's going faster? Well, May's going a lot faster. And it appears about, what, 4.1? So uh, 4.8 subtracted from 8.9 is about 4.1 feet per second faster. There's our answer for part B. And moving on to the last problem, we have all these coins and we're doing things with them. So let's let's see. Uh, I've got a table over here set up for the circumference, diameter, and radius of all the different coins. So a coin rolls a distance of 33 centimeters in five rotations. All right, so let's, let's go ahead and find all of their circumferences. We got a 1.9, a 2.1, a 1.8, and a 2.4. Let's find all of those circumferences. So let's multiply all of these numbers by pi. So 1.9, 8, 21, and 24. Okay, so enter there. 1.9 times pi. Okay, 1.8 times pi and uh, 2.1 times pi, and uh, last one was 2.4, 2.4 times pi. All right, so in my calculator, I have all of their uh, uh, diameters. All right, so those are all the diameters. Let's go back, see what we can do with those. Now, if it did this in five rotations, 33 divided by 5, would tell us what one circumference was, right? So let's do 33 divided by 5 really quick. 5 divided by 33 is going to be 6 with 3 left over. So the decimal point here would be 6.6. .6. So which one of them had the circumference that was 6.6? .6? So let's go back and look at our calculator. It looks like this one, and that was the one that had the diameter of 2.1. So 2.1 was the nickel. Nickel wins the cake there because that circumference times 5 equals 33. A quarter makes eight rotations. How far did it row? Well, the quarter was the 2.4. So let's find out what its circumference was. 2.4 had a circumference of 7.536. So 7.536. And eight rotations, we need to multiply that by eight. So let's let's do that. 7.536. Let's take our answer and multiply it by eight. 60.3. So we'll go with 60.3. 
This one is 60.3 centimeters. And then a dime rolls 41.8 centimeters. How many rotations did it make? So the dime was the 1.8. Let's see what that number was. Uh, that's 5.652. So 5.652. And if it went that far, and this is one rotation, we should be able to divide those two and find out what the number of rotations are. Uh, this is really close to 6, and that's close to 42. I'm guessing 7, but let's go and see. 41.8 divided by that number. So 41.8 divided by our dime number, which was the uh, 5.652. 5.652. Yeah, really close to 7. We'll say about 7.4 rotations. Okay, about 7.4 rotations. And that finish up, finishes up lesson number eight.